This is Let's Get Retro. I want to look at every God Laporte out there, from the good to the really, really not so good. Anyway, let's watch. Hey there. We are looking at Gauntlet. Uh, we are looking at the Apple, uh, the Apple II port today. Um, now, this armored koala here is uh, the Apple II's version of uh, the Warrior. I've got to admit, I'm not a huge fan of this port. Um, I'm trying to work out how much of the, the kind of flaws it has are down to you know, emulation and how much are down to, you know, it not being really well coded. Um, I'm playing this on, I think it's Apple Win for a, I'm actually running through this twice, once as a kind of regular Apple II and once as a, an Apple II GS, because the GS looks a bit nicer. Um, the, this is Apple, this is emulated on Apple Win. Um, I think the Apple II, or sorry, the Apple II GS version will be on Kega, I think is the emulator. Um, it's, I, I've had a few problems. Uh, it just seemed very jerky. The graphics aren't, again, um, it's just because of the nature of the beast. It's not a, you know, the graphically it's not fantastic. Uh, the colors are what you see there. I mean, it's generally, you know, you'd be playing it on a monochrome screen. Um, so I mean, this is this is kind of a what it would look like in a very basic coloured one. Um, it just looks like all I can see is a little koala face on it. The uh, again, I don't know if the sound was. It, it just when I emulated it, the sound was just abysmal. It was just really weird, sort of bleeps. Um, and I, I I don't know whether that was the again the port or just the emulation because I don't have a lot of problems with the emulators themselves. Um, to be completely honest, I'm just trying to get through this as quickly as possible. So uh, the screen is kind of probably zoomed in a little bit more than it should be. Just unfortunately, it was the only uh, the only way I could get it rendered. So uh, I just wanted again, I just wanted to kind of cover this. He's getting his little uh, koala ass handed to him there. Um, the Apple II wouldn't have been a, in my neck of the woods, it wouldn't have really been a machine that cropped up very often. Um, it would be the same when I could do the MSX review. I, I actually got the MSX version working, so uh, I'll be covering that at some point. Um, so again, it's not a machine I'm massively familiar with. I know it's it sort of, uh, a lot of the games that I tend to play in the Atari 800XL would crop up the Apple II ports them and vice versa, but... Uh, I mean, the game itself is playable. It's got a uh, two-player. In fact, I'm actually playing as player two somehow here. Um, but it's it's just not as playable and enjoyable experience playing this as I've had with the other ports. But I mean, as you see there, the level layout is is, this, is there. Um, I don't know, I, I remember reading before uh, that the guys, in a lot of the cases, didn't have access to the source code uh, and were just working off the, the arcade machines. Um, it's Gauntly! <laughs> this is on the uh, the Apple II um, GS. Now, it doesn't actually have speed. Again, I've, it was, this was even more bizarre. Uh, Sound issues were just, um, it just was playing these really weird sort of way out there tones instead of the, the music. So we zoomed in a little bit, just uh, the screen's kind of a bit cropped here, but it, again, it gives you a good idea what the, what the, most of the, once the game is running most of it, it'll be just black screen. Again, background music you hear there is from mattmcfarland.com. I it didn't really, uh, Gauntlet doesn't have that much music anyway to start off with. Um, Okay, that might be a little bit better. Zoomed out a little bit. Now, um, again, I don't know if it's... <laughs> I don't know if it's an emulator issue um, or whether it's, uh, it's the game, but 
All the other palettes seems to be the same. As the ghosts are white, grunts are the right colour. But just every so often something will be the wrong colour completely. Like he's like a little caveman. It's like he's wearing a little green yellow smock. Um Sorry, the emulator again when I was emulating it just just randomly would pause every so often and then start back up again. Um Later versions of uh, when we look at Gauntlet Legacy, uh, Dark Legacy, um, and I think Gauntlet Legends, uh, and actually when I think about Gauntlet too, uh, you, you can have a green warrior. Uh, but this guy's wearing a little, it's like he's a little, wearing a little jerkin. Again, if you've actually got this on the Apple II, can you let me know if the if it's just the emulator that's kind of screwed with the colours on this, or whether it's um, uh, whether it's the actual uh, game? Because I'm really curious. I, I'm starting to think. I, I just I noticed that the the food there was a really odd red colour, or the potions are red as well. They shouldn't be. So it might just be some sort of weird palette swapping thing that the the emulator is doing. But uh, it just it just looks so odd. It's like a, it's like Caveman Oog and his his green and yellow skins. Actually, there's some rather undead looking grunts there. The more I look at this, the more I'm starting to think that it might uh, actually be a weird palette swap thing. So, uh, so take back some of what I said. Um, otherwise, it, it's very similar to the other port. Yeah. That should be yellow. So yeah, the more I look at this, yeah, it's, it's, I'm almost certain it's just a weird emulator thing. Um, if I ever get an Apple II a copy of this uh, and a way of hooking it up to a video capture, I'll I'll redo this. But um, odds on that are pretty unlikely. Uh, the old look who's outdated music kicks in there. That's uh, I think I might have mentioned this before, but this that's. Um, the music here in the background there, and the music is in, in the intro is from uh, mattmacfarland.com. So, uh, and that music there is what I used to use as the intro to the these videos when I was doing them as luxuries of dated rather than let's get retro. Uh, in case anyone's wondering, because I never really cropped up, um, I changed the name of the, the basically Google changed the name of the channel to um, to my real name for a little bit, which was kind of awkward. <laughs> Um, and then I changed it. Uh, it basically, the luxuries of dated name that I used to use for the channel are for the uh, the videos that really make much sense. So I've changed it to Let's Get Retro. So, uh, but when there were luxuries of dated, that music here in the background was the, the intro music. There you go. Useless information that is not relevant to Gauntlet anyway. Um, I'm going to be looking at the MSX ports. Uh, ne well, the MSX port next, um, and I'll be talking a bit more about it. There's actually a someone's done a homebrew MSX2 port, which is just awesome looking, but it's not actually publicly available so um if it's ever out there in the domain that i can get a handle on it and get a go on it i'll uh, stick in a little supplementary video about it you might have noticed you can't really see it there but my health isn't going down um i don't know if it's a bug <laughs> or a hacked version of the game or what uh but it's just um, the screen's cropped there so you can't see it but it's basically no matter how much i get hit it's just not going down so um so i mean that this the animation on this version is decent enough um like I said, a lot of the problems I think are happening are just down to the emulator being a bit janky and being a bit weird. And um, honestly, I used to think that we knew it was hard to, to get going, but the uh, the Apple II emulators just seem to be really counterintuitive. I'm sure like Apple heads, are, you know, look at them and just instantly go, "Oh, snap the fingers, make it work." But I just had awful problems with them. Um, Thanks for all the comments, by the way, on the channel. I'm going to be trying to cover uh, as many ports as I can. So the Mega Drive version is going to be... It's actually going to be covered twice. Once as a Gauntlet 1 port and once as Gauntlet 4, which is its proper title outside Japan. Um, and because it, it does its own little thing as well. So definitely covering that. Um, like, try and, like I said, it's only when I get to stuff like um, the 32-bit games or, you know, stuff like... Uh, PS2 versions and that, that I might only cover one uh, port because the ports at that stage are pretty similar. But for the uh, the 8-bit ports, of the likes of Gauntlet 1, we're definitely going to look at each one individually. And uh, any 16-bit port that does anything slightly different will get covered as well. So, Yeah. 
yeah, so as we slowly make our way down, uh, this again, the emulator, it's probably, it's probably perfect when you, you use it, but um, when I was using it, it just kept pausing for just weird moments. And my PC is fairly decently spec now, so it's, I don't think it's that, it's just some sort of odd thing it didn't like. Let's get rid of these undead grunts. Now, can I make it to the exit without losing the will to live? So, the Apple II ports, just competent enough. Um, again, a lot of the problems I think that initially I was about to, to launch a big tirade about how bad it was. Uh, as I'm actually playing through it and looking at, I'm re looking at it, I'm realizing that they might actually be emulator issues. So, it's competent enough port at the end. It wouldn't have been, definitely wouldn't be my favorite. Um, and you probably put like if you're playing this on Apple II, I think you'd probably be using a monochrome screen, so it'd look a bit odd. Um, Apple II GS, I'm sure if you had the real hardware, it'd look a bit better than, than this does here. So, um, dum, 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 dum. if I slowly make our way through here, let's kick some music back in. There we go for that last push to the exit. Now it thinks very slowly a bit, loading up the next level. Um, yeah, so, level eight, find the hidden potion. I'm not gonna bother. I'm gonna move on from this. I'm gonna look at, I think we're gonna be looking at the MSX for, uh, port next, folks. Um, and then Sega Master System, and then we'll see where we go from there. But uh, again, that's been the look at the, uh, Apple II um, in a couple of different modes and uh, I'm not going to play anymore. I, I, if someone wants to donate an Apple II and a copy of this to me, by all means do. I'll give you my PO box address. Uh, but this is emulated and as I said, a couple of snags I think, so uh, give it a fair crack of the whip. It's not too bad a port in the end. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.